hits the jackpot this time. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Pop. This is the Pushing Our Potential channel. You are now tuned into another scoring breakdown. Last night, the Los Angeles Lakers took on the Phoenix Suns, desperately trying to avoid that play in tournament. Don't get it messed up. The Lakers are not 100%. LeBron's not 100%. AD's not 100%. If they get in that play in tournament and have to face the Warriors or the Pelicans by chance, and someone has a good game, this isn't a series. Remember, this is one game. The Warriors might be able to knock them out. That being said, the Lakers against Phoenix trying to avoid the play in. Anthony Davis had to have a big night. He pulled through. He had 42 points, I believe. We're going to go ahead and jump into the film, see where he got his points from. Let's hop right into it. Here we got a low post ice. Oh, spin out. Okay. That's a great play. That's a great play. Big men. Off the rip, getting right into it, right here. We see he wants this post up right here. This defender does a great job of fronting the post, fronting the post. He doesn't necessarily have backup. He has eight in here. So what he, what Drummond does is he tries, he moves out to the free throw line. And a triangle offense, we'll call this a, a, a backdoor step where you fill this space right here and give this guy, now Aiton has to move up to defend Drummond. And that clears just enough space for AD to spin out and get this lob right here. So you see Drummond moves up, a AD spins out, Aiton has to move up. And then he just throws a great pass right over the top. So this is the using your teammates on the floor, knowing how to get your teammates open. Right here, he's wide open. All you gotta do is put that ball where only he could get it. Here we got a transition screen. And this is just a easy, easy money for Anthony Davis. Right in this uh, mid-range area right here. Easy jump shot. Easy uncontested jump shot. Gotta hit those. That's what makes him so so valuable as a big man. Is his ability to hit mid-range jumpers. Off the dribble and also catch and shoot. Right here we have a high post ISO. That's just using strength right there. ISO here, one dribble, two dribble. But notice how he comes to this two foot stop or this two foot gather so he can get his, his balance, his strength, his position. Basically, whenever you're down this low, you wanna go off two feet so you can have that stability to be able to jump right up and into some contact. You see how he's facing two defenders here he has to be able to stay on balance and strong as he's going into the air. So that two foot jump allows him, you know what I mean? To keep his strength as he goes up into defenders. One foot jump, right, left, you might get knocked off balance in the air, especially when you're going up against bigger, bigger defenders down there. Offensive rebound. Look how Anthony Davis, so being as though Anthony Davis has the threat of the post up, it's so prevalent, you don't wanna let AD post you up. So what he does is he already has these defenders in a front position. This is really great for three point shooting teams simply because if he's gonna front as soon as AD gets down to the, as soon as AD gets down the floor, any shot that goes up, AD is already in great offensive rebound position because he wants to front so he doesn't allow the pass into the post all anthony davis has to do is turn around and seal this guy right here right here boom you're already sealed there's literally nothing you can do that's why the post up is so important guys i can't stress this enough if you're a big man you have to be able to post up make defenses react to you because now they front you all you got to do is turn around you're in great offensive rebound position you just grab that ball and go right up it starts with the post up guys if they don't respect the post up then they don't respect you as a big man you're not very valuable mm. i love this shot i love this shot from ad simple uh slip screen he slips out of the screen as soon as the double team comes not very good communication because Booker should have switched that if he knew that if he knew that this guy was just going to switch it then Booker should have switched off 
it wouldn't leave Anthony Davis so wide open with all of this space down here. Either way, he gets it. Before he even knows a defender's coming, he knows he's shooting his ball. He doesn't even look at the defender. He looks, he catch the ball, he's going right to the rim. Catch and turn. Boom. Look how he's planting on those feet. You get this inside foot first, pivot on the hill. Pivot on that hill, plant right up into your jumper. Right up into the jumper. When you're shooting those those turnarounds like that, make sure your heel the floor first. You want to go heel and then toe. Heel and then toe. So you can plant and swivel more easily. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is this is MVP Anthony Davis right here. If we get this Anthony Davis in the playoffs, he might get finals MVP if they get that far. Here we go. Two dribbles. He gets cut off. Easy spin out. A complete spin, too. He's not half spinning and throwing him off balance. He's spinning, completing the spin, and then going right up into a floater. Look at that release point where he puts that ball. Who's blocking that? Who's blocking that? Who's contesting that? Nobody's even touching that. Nobody's even getting close. Put that ball right up. Easy, easy floater. Same thing like I just talked about. Anthony Davis can come off that. He can come off the dribble and shoot that mid-range jumper right here. Easy. Easy jumper. Post up. Mm. Mm. Great pivot work. That's great pivot work. Post up right here. And this is why, this is why small, everyone else on that team is fronting Anthony Davis. Apparently, he didn't get the memo. Post up right here. Now you're in, now you're in no man's land. Right down here in this paint. Turn. Baby pump fake. Dribble right into his chest. Now you're turning out. You want to show him the turnaround jump shot. Pump fake here. Stay low. Get right through him key on this one is you really want to sell that turnaround pump fake or you really want to sell the jumper when you pump fake on that turnaround coming out here you want to really look at the rim and show it to them get them really out of position and then you use your leverage you're still low use your leverage and your your body to kind of clear some room out clear some space out Right place, right time. Way to knock it down. Anthony Davis knows where he should be at on the floor. Post up. Face up jumper. Way to knock it down. Real simple shot. We saw Bradley Bills hit that shot a bunch yesterday too. There we go. Another post up on eight and down low. Turn around jumper. Hey man. What did I say at the beginning of the video? This is what makes Anthony Davis so valuable as a big man. Post up. Nothing's there. Okay, repost. Boom, let's get back comfortable again to that spot. Now we're just going to turn. Get right here into the middle. Turn and shoot right over the top. He makes it look very easy. This is a tough shot. Tough shot. Here, right over the top on two defenders really but look at this leg right here he tries to kick this leg out just a little bit to try to get eight and off of him you try to get a little extra space a defender wants to get too close you might take a knee to the groin hey man it is what it is you know it's basketball it happens unintentionally but just raising up over the top using that leg for protection getting to that set point and just knocking it down Here you go, simple, big, high, low, big, small, uh, pick and roll. Aiden takes the p takes the ball handler. CP feist over the top, creates a perfect scenario for AD to roll. Now AD, you could tell he wants to he wants this mid range jumper right here, but the lane is just so wide open. It's it's impossible for him not to roll here. Just finish over the top. Nobody's down there to stop you. Mm. 
lane reversal. Look, same thing. Oh my God, that's a 2K dunk. <laughs> that's a 2K dunk. Who, who ducks like that on the lob? Let's take a closer look at this one. We have Anthony Davis on the block with Devin Booker on him. You see here, he wants the ball. He doesn't get it on this side. We call this the strong side because uh, it's not only is it the ball side, but we have the majority of the team on this side. So we throw it over here to the weak side. Now, Anthony Davis knows that if he if he's uh, lane, lane reversal, if he just moves to the other side of the paint, now he has a one-on-one -on -one mismatch, no help defense around. He tries to move over here, but Devin Booker actually does a pretty good job front. Does a great job trying to front him and seal him off. And just like what happened in the first play, where Drummond came up with the backdoor step. Instead, we have Caruso coming up to this free throw line area for the backdoor step, which allows this man to get out of the paint. It allows AD to go backdoor, and all you have to do is put a great pass on him up top, and he goes crazy for the end one. That's a great play. Have him here, lane reversal. It's not there. He's fronting, backdoor step, back cut. Easy pass over the top. I love that. I love that option that the Lakers run a lot. It's ve it's actually very reminiscent of the triangle offense. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the shot chart over here. We see he got a lot of money right here down low in the paint. You got to you got to you got to front him. You got to front him. And when you front him that creates opportunities for backdoor cuts, that creates opportunities for easy offensive rebounds and overall it just opens up the game because you have to have if I'm going to front someone, I need help on the backside. So now you have two defenders watching one one person, which ultimately leaves someone open somewhere on the floor. You just have to find them. So AD being a powerhouse that he is down low, it opens up a lot of the Lakers offense for easy threes, easy back cuts and easy offensive rebounds and putbacks. And once LeBron comes back, I want to see how they're going to ride this wave into the playoffs. But he shot a couple threes. He didn't make much. He had that one over here in the corner and at the right place in the right time. But for the most part, we see how AD is going to be used going forward. High screen and roll. Get him the ball on a mismatch with some guards when they switch those screens. Let's try to give him the ball down low and let's try to use him in the open floor. You know, so uh, let me know who you guys want to see. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, don't forget to. <laughs> I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> Have me on Instagram, man. Pushing our potential, DT973. And we out.